please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up Raptors? Today is Thursday, January 18th. I hope you guys had a wonderful week so far. We are almost done, so keep working hard. You guys got this, now on to the daily news. 2023 Library Updates by Jessalyn. Who's in the library? Miss K. What can you find in the library? In the library, you can find Fiction books, non-fiction books, and Miss K. What does she do in the library? What do you do in the library? So I check in and check out books. We have over 13,000 in our library. I create lessons each month for English language arts classes to come through. And um, also I help other teachers with their lessons and um, activities to help them teach what they are interested in. When can you go to the library? When can you go to the library? So everyone should be coming to the library once a month with their language arts classes. Um, and then I also try to have the library open during lunches on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but it doesn't always happen because the library is a busy space and oftentimes it's being used by other classes or meetings, things like that. Where can you find audiobooks? Where can you find audiobooks? So our audiobooks, um, we just did a lesson on that last month and they are all in Destiny Discover. If you um, log in, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a specific tab for just audiobooks. An audiobook or a talking book is a recording of a book or other work being read out loud. Why is it important to read? Why is reading important? Reading is important because that's how we can acquire new information. Um, it allows us to see ourselves in stories and then it also can show you new worlds um, through different characters and different stories. Benefits of reading are that it exercises the brain, improves concentration, and increases the ability to focus. Bye Raptors! Stand up from the crowd. Do not stay caught up in the past. The past will not do you good in the future. Sometimes your past puts you in places you never thought you'd be in. Do you think your past has affected your current life? Well, it has me at where I'm at today to be able to come talk to you guys. So you make wiser choices and always don't follow, be the leaders. <laughs> Ask for advice. Do not be scared to get some advice from a trusted adult. Adults could lead you down a path you would want to go down. Take some advice from an adult that may have gone through what you may be going through. Some advice from like TJ tells of your past that you think are yours. I would just say, first of all, that you get back what you put out. So if you're putting out positivity, goodwill, good energy, you're going to get that back in your life. And definitely also, that goes for who you hang out with. So if you're hanging out with negative people, people that are doing the wrong things, people that are doing things that in your gut you know is wrong, then that's the kind of stuff that's gonna come back to you. That's the kind of consequences that are gonna come back to you. So surround yourself with positive people and put out good energy, that's all I would say. Thank you. Stay out of trouble when you know what the thing you might be doing is a bad. Think about the consequences you will face. I can always advise to try to look ahead of the consequences that come with those because choices that you make, sometimes you can't go back from them. So it's best to, you know, think about it before your actions. So always think of consequences before, you know, making those type of decisions in your life because they can affect you in bad ways. But also think of it in, in, in another way, how can it benefit you as well? So it's up to you how you make those choices. Thank you. Yep. Accomplish your goals. Making a list of goals is the best thing to do when you want to do better for yourself. Proudest accomplishments? Uh, one of my proudest accomplishments has been uh, being able to 
uh, turn my life around for the better and to actually be out there in the community and doing positive things for the community, you know, motivating kids to do better, motivating kids to not um, make the same decisions that I made, you know, and honestly me being able to work, uh, doing the job that I'm doing now, it's something that I never thought I was going to do. And my second uh, biggest accomplishment has been being able to be a bodybuilder. Uh, when I came out of the hospital, they told me that I wasn't going to be able to uh, work out again. And that's something that really stuck in my mind, you know, and it motivated me to want to push harder, you know, to prove people wrong. And now I'm the only wheelchair bodybuilder in the state of New Mexico who's competing. I'm number one out of 16, so I feel like that's one of my biggest accomplishments and one of my proudest accomplishments as well. All information provided by presenters. Thanks for listening. Attention. Students that come to school in Uggs, you cannot wear the slip-on version to school. It is a violation of the dress code. Thank you and have a great day, Raptors. We have a school fundraiser coming up at Chipotle on Saturday, January 20th, anytime between 4 and 8 p.m. All you have to do is go to the Chipotle location on 528, order your favorite foods, and 33% of the proceeds will go towards our AVID program. Show the flyer at checkout or you can use the code on the screen for online orders. We will be having more details come out soon, so stay tuned. JMS FCCLA, Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. The James Monroe FCCLA Regional Competition was Wednesday, January 10th in Farmington. Four students went to compete. The JMMS FCCLA won two gold medals and one silver medal. We are now qualified for the state competition. Congratulations, JMMS FCCLA. Have a great day, Raptors.